Good morning. We are uh, busy doing homeschool already. And I'm just coming upstairs real quick to take a break and get my clothes on for the day. We usually get started in the morning, do some things, and then um, take a little break. And then I come upstairs and get dressed. Mason, quit hollering. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. Get dressed for the day. Um, I got up and I got Jacob his uh, weekly like planner notepad filled out for what he stop stop please stop I got his weekly plans uh, written out so that he knows exactly what he has to do and this I'm week an M &M. and I'm an M&M &M. you're an M&M &M. I'm an M&M &M. so he's downstairs and he's getting busy on his work and um, while he's doing his independent work I am going to go ahead and get ready for the day. I've got some things I have to get done today. So, as usual, every day I've got a list of things to do. So, I'm going to try to um, get everything done that needs to be done today. All right, Maddie, Mommy's going to get dressed. All right, do it fast, please. to do Maddie no 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 stay out of the pantry and um, my goal now is to work on the yard sale stuff and I'm thinking that this weekend I'm probably going to try and have the yard sale it's definitely time I am so motivated to get rid of lots and lots of stuff 
and I thought that today would be another great opportunity to go through some more stuff and see what I can get out of this house. Um, I've watched a few YouTube videos on min uh, people who are minimalist. Okay. And, um, okay, I am an aspiring minimalist, although I know I will never ever be a minimalist. Um, it's just a, not a feasible goal for me. But I do think that I can get close by getting rid of lots of stuff Mom, and clutter. Okay. So, um, you have a basketball block and clutter for like toys because I'm going to sell them with some, some of my toys. Yes, you have to make sure that it's toys that you don't play with anymore. Okay? Uh, some of them are down here, some of them. So I'll give you a basket. Actually, I have one right here. A green basket right here. And I'm getting ready to go and move everything that is in here and I'm gonna put it in the garage and clean the garage out and get ready for a yard sale. But mom, how about open the garage? I also have daddy's gonna work on it. I also have um here's the hat that needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Um I have what was I gonna say? Lots of work to do in the garage because the garage is a mess and um, it needs to be organized. So, oh, lots to do, lots to do. And I still need to go to the post office today. And what else was I going to have to do today? I have to go to the post office. I have to do a little bit of work for dad on the computer. Um, I think that's basically it. What? Oh, very nice, very nice. So, um, I've been utilizing my life planner a lot today and trying to get everything organized into a like, feasible to-do list, you know, that I want to accomplish. So, um, it's coming along. I'll give you a quick glimpse into my life planner today and show you kind of what it looks like. So, here I'm doing a donut theme this week. And I'm just writing in black and I have my meal plans down here at the bottom and um i'm starting my to-do list over here so that's that and then i started a list in the back last night of family go-to meals so i saw this from um, another youtuber who was talking about creating this like master list of meals that you can cook um, like from memory or that you go to a lot and so I'm working on that Which will be helpful when you're meal planning that you can just kind of come back here and pull some of your you know Staple menus and recipes and stuff off of here So that's what my life planner looks like I'm gonna do some more work in it so that I can get some more uh, going on here. All right guys I am on my way to the post office and this has seriously been a super duper productive day I'm so excited. I got the garage cleaned up. Well first I got all the kids homeschooling done I got the garage completely cleaned out and then I had them help me move all of the yard sale stuff from the formal living room into the garage and I put it all up against the wall for when we have our yard sale. So I'm so excited about that. And so I finally have my formal living room back and um, it doesn't look like junk and chaos, which was absolutely driving me crazy. And I am, um, so I'm gonna try and go through the house again before we have this yard sale, which will probably not be for another couple weeks because this Saturday is gonna rain the Saturday after that I have to work <laughs> and so it's probably gonna be at least two about three more weeks before I can have this yard sale but in a way it's good because it'll give me the opportunity to really um, go through everything one more time and get rid of stuff um, that is not being used or you know that is kind of cluttering up space because um, I really want to get rid of lots and lots and lots so um, it'll be good. I'm excited to get rid of more stuff. I have a ton together already, so um, hopefully I can get more together and have a very huge yard sale, and then I'll probably end up having like a couple of yard sales so that I can try and get, um, you know, everything kind of gone. But um, I'm sure I won't sell everything, and whatever's left over will probably go to Goodwill. 
or sell it as bulk on Craigslist or something like that. I don't know. And I don't think that really ever works very well. But um, so that's the plan. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm running this box that I have to the post office and then um, I just got a phone call from my mom. I'm so excited, guys. She is getting ready to come home from the hospital, so that is super duper good news. She's been there for a week, and she's finally getting to go home today, which is awesome, so I'm really excited about that, and um, she's really excited, and she's feeling better than she did. She still has a long way to go, but um, at least she can, you know, finish the recuperation process in her own bed, in her own home, because being in a hospital is, um, you guys know, it's if you've ever been in a hospital, not much resting happens there, right? They're always bothering you. There's always like lots going on and the bed is terribly uncomfortable and you're stuck in a tiny little room. And so um, she's really excited to go home. So now what I'm thinking is, I didn't know she was gonna be coming home today and it's already getting close to dinner time. So um, I'm thinking I was gonna try and prepare her um, some meals, but it's a little too late today to do that. So what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably gonna go to the grocery store um, this evening, pick up some stuff to make like double batches of a couple of meals and just take um, a couple dishes over tonight or I mean tomorrow um, that way they can have some food and she won't be feeling like she has to cook and all that stuff so that's the plan hopefully I can get it together okay I'm gonna run in here to the post office with Miss Maddie Bear and we're gonna ship our package and this is what Maddie does while we eat she plays monkey That girl will not sit still. Mason's eating good. Right? Yes, we're eating salsaritas again for dinner. It's about the healthiest option that we can do as far as fast food goes. Because we get lots of fresh vegetables and, and things like that with our meal. I love these kind of it's actually not too bad for your body so we eat here quite a bit because it's reasonably priced and it's quick and it's pretty healthy so um daddy had some errands that he wanted me to ride around uh with him while he did tonight so i did not cook dinner yep <laughs> again so we decided to just run here to uh Salsaritas. jacob decided to stay home because he is a preteen, and that's what they want to do whenever they're at that age so um, we're grabbing a quick dinner and then I'm gonna ride out uh, and do some errands with my hubby. Mom, have you ever tried this, dip this into that? Oh no, I don't think you should do that. Why? It's like putting a donut in queso. Why? <laughs> That's not gonna taste good. Can I try it? A donut in queso? Yeah. Here's a little. I would just eat it. Then come on. Does that taste like a donut? Yeah. Does it? Is it good? Uh huh. Is it sugary? I just look it. That's all I have to do. Look it. You just look the sugar off. <laughs> what is it? Come on. What do you see? It's time to go check out the Halloween Express. See if we can find the little ones a costume. What do you Duck see? Duck Woo! Duck Frankenstein! Just here, here I'll show the air comes in right here. Look, see that? That's blowing air in there. Oh, cool. Isn't that cool? Wanna touch it? Touch it? Touch, touch it. it. Touch it here. Just look. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. <laughs> Come on. Let's she go. had to decide if it was safe. What? They closed at 8, so. Oh, we got 30 minutes. Okay. Let's go see what you got. Ooh, scary. Oh, man. Come here. Oh. <laughs> scary. It's scary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's scared. Oh, ooh, I don't like that kind of stuff. 
I don't like it either, Maddie. Let's go away. Let's go scary. away from that. That's scary. Let me see Doc McStuffins. <gasps> There's Doc McStuffins. <laughs> okay, thank you. Let me see. Look. Here, Here stand up so we can show everybody. Here, Maddie is Doc McStuffins, guys. Oh. Let me see. Wait. Show me your headband. Wait. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Are you going to be a Doc, Doc McStuffins? I got time to Time for your checkup. Okay, tell everybody what you're gonna be. A superhero. Which is what? What? Batman. Yes. Mason is gonna be Batman. Here's Mason's costume. And Maddie is going to be the Doc McStuffins. Don't she look cute? No, no, don't touch it. She looks just like Doc McStuffins. Mom, can we go touch the monster? No. The monster? Nah. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on, Doc McStuffin. Hey, you have your doctor bag. She has her doctor bag and everything. Oh, that's right. It matches it. Yeah. It's a doctor bag. Yeah. Oh, can we go home without you? No. What? Her bag's Doc McStuffin. Yeah. Take it off of her. I guess she's getting irritable. Mom, look. <gasps> you look cool. Let me see. I like how the cape is blue underneath and black on top. That's, oh, that's cool. cool. Man, that Isn't is that cool? Like a bee. Look at that. Oh, man, that's awesome, man. oh, I love your cape. That's the best part. That's Woo! Awesome. That's cool. <laughs> I like tattoos on that even better. You would? You are cool looking right now. I like it. Yeah. Uh, take your shoes off, Maddie. Maddie's undressing. Daddy, will you help her take her shoes off? Mason, you're cool. Na 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 like what is that? Who is that math man? He's like on. Oh, he's like wait. Who is that math man? <laughs> Batman. Look at Max. He's like. He's I know you can't figure. He's like. He's like what is going on? <laughs> so I have decided that I need to make some banana bread at almost nine o'clock at night. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Because my bananas are getting ready to go bad, and Maddie started unpeeling them. And so, I was like, well, I better go ahead and make some banana bread real quick. Because I don't want Mom, these to go me. bad. Hang on a minute. Look at me, Mom. Look at me. Yeah, you look awesome. Superhero. Uh-uh, oh, don't play in that. Don't play in that, baby. Don't. Okay. 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 Don't play in it. All right.
it's all done. Look how yummy. Can you guys just smell that banana bread smell? Because the whole house smells like it right now. Mmm. The house smells so good and it makes it feel so cozy when it smells like yummy banana bread. Alright guys, I am going to end the vlog. See you guys tomorrow.